I began my artistic journey when I was about 10 years old, when my parents encouraged me to uh, take some art courses, which I, I devoured. I loved them. And uh, I always excelled at school in art. And when I was 14, uh, I was identified as a gifted artist and was able to enroll in part-time art studies at the Vancouver School of Art, which is now the Emily Carr University of Art and Design, which is a, it's a phenomenal place. It was phenomenal during the 60s and 70s when I was there in terms of some of the energies, the art movements that were happening, things people were exploring. Uh, and I just had a wonderful time and developed a real forte for portraiture. And, um, but decided for various reasons uh, uh, at 18 to take uh, a break from uh, a full-time art pursuit. I uh, did some other things, but always uh, for the last 40 years have done some things artistic. Since 2011, I've decided that uh, I need to embrace my art a lot more and have started uh, um, pursuing uh, oil on canvas, but in a very different way. Exploring with the lighting and the canvas, I call it transcendence, where during the day, uh, early day, you've got lots of light and at that time you're going to see the painted surface of the painting. And then uh, as the evening, uh, early evening takes hold, you'll activate the lights that are infused into the painting. And with that, they start to glow a little bit and it, the painting changes. And then uh, early evening, the lights are a little stronger. And then at night time, uh, the pieces totally change where there's little light in the room and the lighting that's within the canvas takes hold and ignites the piece and dynamically changes the energy of the painting of the wall sculpture uh, into full transcendence from something calm and uh, uh, colorful during the day perhaps to something that is just bursting with light and energy at nighttime. My current series I call I Light Art because each piece is infused in some way with lighting and it's about energy. One of the energies that I captured was the experience of swimming at Lake Meach, which is just outside of Ottawa, at 6 a.m. in the morning and at 6 p.m. at night and how the lighting of the rising sun hits the, the hills around Lake Meach in the morning and then how the, the setting sun hits the uh, mountains around the lake at nighttime. And with the infused lighting in these pieces, uh, I believe I have captured that wonderful energy. And it's something that we all see. And some paintings just on their own can capture it. But I think with the infused lighting, it captures it in a wonderful way. And uh, another one that I uh, decided to do was to take an iconic painting and do my own uh, interpretation of it. For that, I chose uh, an amazing piece at the National Gallery of Canada by the artist Barnett Newman. It's called Voice of Fire. And it's an incredibly controversial piece because of how much the gallery paid for it. And it's by an American artist. But, um, and it's huge. It, some might say it's simple. But my version has its own voice in that uh, I have infused within it light cords that are sound activated. So as you speak to my version of the voice of fire, the light cords get activated and they'll speak back to you, and, which is really fun. I find this whole exploration that I'm doing of using lighting with the canvas work um, is very exciting. I've never seen it done before uh, and it's all new. There have been other light artists, but I don't believe they've been exploring transcendence the way I am. And so I'm having a lot of fun uh, doing this exploration, trying to push new boundaries of my art practice forward into some new, new spaces. I have custom made frames that are dimensional. They're dimensional to uh, make them a bit more exciting on the wall space. They're also dimensional to house some of the electrical work in them. And then I uh, plan out how the, I use torn canvas. I want to leave holes and gaps to allow the lighting to uh, come through the canvas to have depth to the canvas uh, so it goes both ways. Uh, and that in the tearing and the weaving of this, uh, the raw canvas, I create uh, a new different uh, wall sculpture. Then I will prime the canvas, then I will paint it. Then the last stage is to infuse it with the lighting that has been planned for that particular piece. And so each stage of the building of a piece, both from preliminary drawing, deciding the framework structure,
deciding on the weaving of the canvas, deciding on the painting structure, deciding on then the final infusion of the lighting uh, to create the final ultimate piece has all been thoroughly planned out and explored ahead of time. It might look uh, impromptu, but it is all very much detailed and planned out. I'm very excited about this exploration, both in terms of uh, the newness of it, of pushing new boundaries, um, and uh, I'm excited for the, 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 the pieces that I'm creating. Uh, and I'm really hopeful that uh, other people will also find the same kind of love and, and joy in, in the work that I'm doing. And having fun with them, have, seeing how uh, they can transcend uh, in a space, how they can alter the energy of a room uh, with their sound activation for some of them, how they can be playful. And uh, so I'm having a total uh, great time at this stage of my game, and my game isn't over. Uh, to, uh, to be doing this. Donc, uh, je suis très excité pour, uh, pour cette série uh, de mes pièces d'art um, et uh, la transcendance et l'énergie avec chaque pièce. Uh, c'est, à mon avis, c'est totalement uh, excité.